episode two. Wake up! Lola's voice woke me up. I felt drool at the side of my mouth and wiped it away in disgust. Foiled yet again from seeing where things would go with my mystery dream man. So much easier than real life, but not if people kept interrupting. Lola poked me in the side. Hey, I'm up, how long was I out? 20 minutes, lazy ass. I ignored her comment, my eyes landing on her laptop. The web page already open, so sue me if I wanted to go to sexy dreamland again. Lola spoke honestly. I still don't know if you're joking about this, Callie. I didn't either. But my parents were in trouble. They wouldn't be able to pay the loan, at least not if there was a deadline. They'd be in trouble and seeing them go through that was worse than me going through it. What if their house was taken away or they went to jail? I didn't know how this stuff worked. Plus, I definitely wasn't going to be able to pay for college next year unless I quickly found a job that paid super well. Even then, I wouldn't be able to make a dent in that loan. It was just my virginity, right? Virginity was a huge deal for some girls, but not really for me. It wasn't for lack of trying either, but no one being the right fit. This made me feel like a sex worker, selling my body for sex, which was a legit job and all, but maybe not the one for me right now. Also, it wasn't my ideal scenario to have my first time be with some ugly, creepy sugar daddy. Those had to be the clients on this site. Maybe if no one knew about it, it would be okay. Lola wouldn't tell a soul. I trusted her with my life. I nibbled my lip, anxious about this whole situation. I was seriously thinking about this. Had I lost it? Should I just download Tinder? Depends, I muttered, biting my bottom lip. Lola arched an eyebrow, uncrossing her legs. On? How much money? If someone would even pay for me? I didn't believe anyone would. No one had been mutually interested in me this far, which was why I was actually considering it. We were thinking of possibilities, that's all. What the person is like and looks like. I'm not looking for Mr. Perfect, but I'm avoiding Mr. Blech. That's all? And you can't tell a soul or judge me. Kale, this was my idea. I can't judge you, she sighed. I promise I won't let you go to any guy who would kidnap you, and I'll only let you go through with it if they pay well. Was it bad I actually trusted her with this? I was half serious, half not about this whole situation. I mean, what if the guy was hot? Or he paid me enough to pay for mom's treatment? It would be worth it then for one night, right? Go for it. Really? Her eyes lit up. If you're joking, I'm not going through all this trouble. I'm serious, Lola, do it. I'll give you some of the money. Deal? A huge smile appeared on her face. You're the best, Callie. I pulled out my phone. Oh, God. Guess what I have? One missed call from Alex. Seriously? That boy does not know how to take a no, Lola muttered, although she seemed like she wasn't focused on me at all. She was dead serious about this whole virginity thing, and it made me smile. I was too, but I knew that no one would pay for me. We'd do this because it took our mind off the shitty reality. Go through the motions, the hypotheticals, and tomorrow would be exactly the same as today. I better call him back. You're an idiot, she mumbled. I dialed Alex's number, refusing to listen to her comment. He picked up on the first ring. Kellyanna? His voice was extremely eager. The other night was great. Did you get my texts? Cool. I did. Sorry I couldn't reply, something big came up. I lied through my teeth and noticed the smirk on Lola's face. Damn, why did she always have to be right? No problem, he chirped. I talked to your father yesterday. Wait, what? You did? Why? My brow furrowed in confusion. Oh my God, if he told him we were a thing, I was going to crawl into a hole and never come out. I ran into him at the pharmacy. His voice went quiet. He said your mom's doing well. I sighed. 
I don't really want to talk about it. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. Nope, but you did. I knew he was cringing about it, and I couldn't help but feel a little bad. He was just trying to be a good friend. Are you free tonight? Lola's staying over. Girls' night, that's fine, I get it. He went silent for a moment. Leroy, don't put the fork there. Leroy! Damn it! Kelly, I have to go. I'll call you later. Leroy! The line went dead, and I couldn't help but laugh. Leroy was Alex's younger brother, probably the cutest but most annoying brat in the world. I'm staying over in our house? Lola asked, catching my lie. Shut it, I responded. If you aren't interested, you need to tell him. Don't lead him on or he'll think you're into him. I frowned. He's so sweet and everything, but it just always gets awkward. We've been friends for so long that I only see him in that way. That's the only reason I'm not agreeing to the dates. To be honest, Alex was cute in a boyish type of way. He wouldn't be put into my hot guy group, but definitely the cute one. He had looks that a lot of girls loved, especially with nerdy glasses that suited him to perfection. He was around five foot nine inches, and although I usually wasn't fond of really short hair, it suited him. I had known him growing up because my parents knew his parents. When they divorced, I helped him through a tough time, just like he was trying to help me now. That, and he was my first kiss. After that, he kind of took that as if I loved him. It was a spur of the moment thing. Maybe not my finest desperate virgin move ever. No dating until this all happens. Lola pulled me from my thoughts. What? You can't date until I sell your virginity, so hold off, Kay. I burst out laughing and she grinned in response. I met her in high school when she moved schools. I had expected her to be shy and nervous since she was new, but she was so loudmouthed. We clicked the moment she shouted at a girl named Cynthia who called me a loner freak for eating outside alone. It was nice out, so sue me. Lola blew up and I was amazed because nobody stood up to Cynthia. We had been best friends for years after that and she brought me out of my shell. Sure, I still wasn't as brave and outgoing as her, but I wasn't the quiet mouse anymore. Are you sure you haven't done this before? You seem to know all the ins and outs. I arched an eyebrow and she stuck out her tongue like a child. I wouldn't be surprised if she had, but I knew how she lost her own virginity. Makeover time! Lola pulled me from my comfy position and I groaned. She reached for the brush on my bedside table and passed it to me. Brush, she ordered, getting off the bed and going to my vanity table. I did as I was told and brushed my hair. I never dyed it. I was a natural brunette. Lola dyed her hair so many colors, she currently had platinum hair, which really suited her. My hair fell just below my breasts. It usually was straight, but sometimes a small wave would appear if it got wet, but disappeared the moment I brushed it, like right now. Lola returned to the bed with makeup. She was basically a makeup artist, what with all the YouTube videos she was always watching. I only wore mascara and eyeliner, nothing else. It all looked too complicated and most of all, expensive. Lola, don't put too much on because if I actually meet a guy, I'm not gonna be pampered in makeup. You're right, she paused. Well, you're naturally gorgeous. Contour a tiny bit, then put on mascara, and maybe winged eyeliner. Whatever most of that meant. It felt like years until she was finally done with my face. Am I free now? I asked, earning a scowl from her. She brought over a mirror and showed me. I looked natural, but not. It was that weird, no makeup, makeup, and to be honest, I felt pretty like this. Maybe there was a method to all her videos. Good job, I muttered, giving in. Okay, selfie time. She passed me her phone. I'll upload it to my laptop later. Take lots of pics. Then we need to go outside and take a picture so it's obvious you're real and have friends. Huh? What are you talking about? We're taking photos for your profile. She looked at me like I was the crazy one. We're auctioning off your virginity starting tonight. 